Hi, I'm Ernie. And I'm Ben. And this is Budget Nerds. It was all in your mind. You are not alone. No, you are not. Friends, welcome back to another episode. Today, Ben and I are talking about cash. How do you handle cash in YNAB? And this was sparked back in the Kath episode. Yeah, yeah. If you remember, somehow we got to talking about cash, and you and I jumped in like, cash accounts, cash accounts, do a cash account. Cash accounts, it's all about the cash accounts. And she was like, guys, no. (laughs) And then we were like, "Uh, yeah, do whatever you want. But uh, so we just want to like take that little snippet of a conversation and just make that a whole episode because... I think I think because me and Ernie wanted to talk about cash accounts and how great they are. So, and this um, is a question. It comes up all the time in workshops, especially for new wine nabbers. How do you handle cash? So this is gonna be a good discussion. Yeah, yeah. So how do you handle cash? Like, like what are the what are the, let's let's go like let's give the wine app answer, Ernie. Like, like let's give like the stamp of approval, <laughs> wine app education answer and then we'll tell you how you should really do it <laughs> okay there's well we'll, t- we'll we'll give you the our opinion on which of these options we we like the best and maybe we'll get really really opinionated i know you can do that that's oh. more of a challenge for me but I, maybe <laughs> i can it. find I no that <laughs> i can find that assertiveness in find this episode because i yeah man I, I do love cash accounts but the yeah, two yeah, we'll, we'll ways that you can handle cash either run it through a category mm-hmm. or run it through an account don't do both because oh, that's the matchy matchy game <laughs> and yes. something we're opinionated Ooh, about. Yucky. So no, yeah, we no, don't no, want no, that. No, 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 so no, cash no, no. doesn't count cash as a category. Yeah. And cash as a category is basically like you just saying, I'm not going to track it. It's just, if I take money out of the ATM, um, it'll go out of the cash category, which doesn't mean anything. Like it's not like, that's not a certain way you're going to spend it. It just means, I've taken it out in cash and now I just spend it however I want. Right. Yep. So that's fine. If you're one of the per- most people who's just like, I don't care. I don't use a lot of cash or, uh, even if I do, it's a small enough amount that I don't care to track it. Cash category. Fine. Fine. I guess it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> For most of our YNAB life, Christy and I just use cash as a category. So we would actually yeah. have a cash category. And I think we put like, we funded it with $40 and then at the first or around the first of every month, I'd go to the ATM and take off that $40, right? And then we'd each get mm-hmm. 20. So, I mean, essentially once the money leaves YNAB, it's considered spent. So we didn't yeah. need to record anything and it worked really good for us because we weren't using a lot of cash. And then if there were the occasional time where, you know, maybe we went to the farmer's market or we needed to buy something specific with cash, we would just categorize that ATM withdrawal to groceries or whatever the expense line was yeah i would do that occasionally too where it's like okay i'm getting cash out because i know i'm going to like this agritourism farm where they only take cash to do to go pick strawberries with the kids those kind of things you know that would go into entertainment you know but uh, what you don't want to do and I, what I well i guess okay you can do this but it sounds like the worst what you don't want to do is like do a $40 cash transaction. And then like, after you spend the cash, like make like a split transaction, like that goes like seven ways to all the different ones, you places you spend it. It's like, if you're going to do that, you need to have a cash account. Okay. Because clearly you care about how you spent that 40 bucks. Uh, So, well, then we'll get into the the cash account part of things, but cash category doesn't, you just, you don't care how it's spent. And that was the really annoying part of running it through a category, especially if it was for something specific, like, okay, we're going to the farmer's market. So let's take out $20, but then we only spent 15. Now I've got $5 Mm -hmm. and I'm not going to be using it on food. Like I categorized it as, right. So what do I do with this $5? And I was such a nerd. I would go back (laughs) to the ATM. (laughs) I would deposit deposit it. it. And then yeah. I would I put it back, you know, in food. That's exactly why I like the cash account because you don't have to do any of that nonsense. Like it's, well, we'll get into it. But um, yeah, and and the one reason that Kath said that she liked the cash category is because by virtue of I'm not tracking cash. If you get cash, like maybe a friend pays you back in cash or something, you just 
you don't put it in YNAB. YNAB doesn't know about it. But what bothers me about that is like what you're being reimbursed for is now less than it should be because you didn't actually spend the money on that uh, because you're reimbursed. And now I know it all works out. Like I know it's fine. It's just, uh, it's just, it bothers me and it bothers you, Ernie. That's why you put it into, <laughs> into right. the and ATM. I, you know, I get it. Like some people just don't want to track the cash because they think there's a lot of overhead involved with that, but it, it really isn't that difficult. No, it's easy. I mean, well, we'll get into it. It's it's easy for me. Maybe not for, for Caitlin, who's standing up, <laughs> sitting across the room. We we just had a big dis. We got into a little argument that like we were me, Caitlin and I were literally arguing about her cash account, and then Ernie came in and was like, yeah. "Oh, should I? Do I need to <laughs> back away here? <laughs> Maybe I'll come back in five. Uh, well, we, we'll 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 get into it. It's pretty funny. It's kind of just a joke between us but. all right so cash is a category i think we covered everything there it's it's simple yeah. use it if you don't use a lot of cash or if you just don't want to track the little use of cash that occurs in your life yeah the only time i get opinionated about that is if you're using a certain amount of cash where it's like over some kind of arbitrary line like it's hard to say but like like let's say you make a thousand dollars a month and you take five hundred dollars out in cash and you're like Oh, I'm just gonna spend that however I want. Like that's that's too much. Like you need to capture that information. You know yep. what I mean? Because otherwise, yep. you just you're not even wine. Like, are you even wine adding, bro? Like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so like, if you're using a lot of cash compared to like your income, but if we're talking about twenty bucks and you make ten thousand bucks a month, like, yeah, that's yep. not a big deal, right? So there you go. All right. Now the other way to handle cash is the right way. The right way. <laughs> <laughs> you run the your cash more. through an account. Right. So mm -hmm. on the left hand side of YNAB, you're actually setting up a cash account. And we have cash account types. And then you yes. can call it whatever you want, like wallet or yours, mine. You know, like you and Caitlin both have a cash account. I think, yeah. what is mine called? I got to check. Have a couple. What I like about the cash, or well, when we're about this, like when you set up the cash account, actually don't like put it in as a checking account, like actually use the cash account account type for yes. one reason only. And that's because every transaction in a cash account is automatically cleared because yep. there's no uncleared or cleared status because it's cash. It's not a bank situation. So, um, and that's kind of nice when you're reconciling because you don't have It to makes it so much simpler. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, but that's that's kind of a nice little quirk of that, you know. <laughs> it's so, one last tap, yeah. one less tap, or one less click to mark it from cleared to un uncleared to yeah. cleared. Or you don't have any confusion, like why isn't this matching up? Oh, it's because yep. your working balance is off because it's it's supposed to clear. So that's the big difference with the cash account versus like a checking account in YNAB. Um, otherwise, it's exactly the same, so not too big a deal. Um, so you, what did you look up? What your cash account is called? I just call it cash. Okay, yeah, yeah, makes sense. I was just going to say, um, with the cash account, it just works like any other cash account in YNAB. You enter that balance you have, you give jobs to those dollars, and then every time you spend, you just record that spending in the cash account. So you only have one cash account, but you've got two people, Yep. right? So how do you handle that? Like, uh, if, if Chrissy, like, if she uh, spends cash, do you record Chrissy's spending? Or do you just, how do you handle that? Either, yeah, she records it or I ask her right away, how did you spend that cash? Okay. So, okay. and cool. we just have it in a central location in the house. We put it in a safe. And oh, then when someone okay. needs that, I mean, I carry around cash all the time in my wallet. But yeah. if Christy wants to spend some cash, she'll just go to the safe and pull it out. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's why you have one cash account. Yeah. Because it, it's really like, Ultimately, it's coming from one location. I like that. Okay. Yeah, because Christy so, only carries the cash when she knows she needs it. Whereas right. I just, I'm always carrying some. Maybe that would be better for us. I'm thinking through this. Oh, because we have three cash accounts. Okay. Whoa. I have, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't have know Ben's, that. Okay. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Okay. Wait, I guess we haven't talked about this. So I have Ben's wallet. I have Katie's wallet, which is my wife, Caitlin. And um, we have house cash, which is like, yeah, I'm cash in a safe. And I started doing the house cash thing because of my poker nights. And I needed like small bills to make okay. change with people. And then it just kind of became like, oh, this is just nice to have cash on hand. Because like, if you just need some cash, you don't want to go to the bank to get some cash. Like you just have it 
in the house, grab it. And then like, if you need more cash, you can go to the bank all at once. And I was like, go in and talk to the teller. Cause I want like a certain number of $5 bills, certain number of $10 bills. And, and I also do, I get like a bunch of $1 bills. Cause I give my kids an allowance in $1 bills. Okay. We talked about that. Yep. So I have that too. So that's all in the, ca- the house cash. And if I ever need it, I just grab it from there and do a transfer from house cash to the wallet. Right. Um, so yeah, my situation is a little more complicated. And yeah. it's led to some conflict. <laughs> we could we could well, talk about. Maybe it. we can simplify <laughs> that, Ben. Maybe we could. So here, the problem is, Caitlin doesn't reconcile her cash account. She <laughs> refuses. <laughs> I had to beg her to, to reconcile it before this episode because uh, she has she hadn't reconciled since July, and like who knows how much is in there. And I think I think it's a problem. I think this is a, I think this is a problem because. What we said when we created the cash accounts, which we both agreed to it, was if there was a discrepancy and you had to do a reconciliation adjustment, that had to come from your personal spending, right? Because like you didn't keep track, right? Okay. You didn't. You didn't, you didn't keep track. Um, and so I think so. What Caitlin said just before today was she's like, "Listen, I'm just waiting until I'm very flush in my <laughs> personal spending category before I." want to reconcile it because she knows it's off (laughs) it it, it almost feels like she's just leaving money and ready to assign like the last episode like she keeps kicking the can on these decisions it is like 15 20 dollars it's not like it like (laughs) her reconciliation adjustment was nine dollars and 84 cents which she put on herself but i want to convince her caitlin you can she's shaking her head uh she doesn't want to talk she i i I can convince her to not put it on there because that's the thing like the promise was like the the guideline was if you if you have a reconciliation adjustment it needs to go on you but we've never done that like it's always like oh we'll just take it from here it's fine yeah because honestly she probably spent that on the kids or something so um yeah (laughs) yeah so it is it is a source of issue because basically caitlin doesn't really want to track cash but I do, and I think that's really, <laughs> really the problem. So I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe Caitlin, maybe we, but could we do both? You just said don't do both, but could we like have a cat, like a Katie Cash category, and then when she takes cash out, it's just takes it out of there. I maybe mean, it's it's being funded by different. Well, it's not being funded by different accounts. Like I'm imagine like if she needs to take cash out of the house cash, she could just put it to a category but then we'd have to have like a category that we fund and i don't want to take from other categories to fund that category like because oh uh, yeah well uh, let's talk about all the good things that come with cash accounts like there's so many wonderful accounting issues that just completely oh. go away okay uh, yeah well, well, okay let, let's put a hold on that on um, how do we solve this relational problem <laughs> that ben's having <laughs> Kaylin, I don't know if you guys can hear that. Kaylin says it's not a relational. What kind of a problem is it? Is it a? (laughs) This is a YNAM mechanics problem. It's a stupid housekeeping product (laughs) problem. Is what she said. (laughs) You're right. You're right. And and we're not. Don't worry, guys. Mom mom and dad aren't going to break up here. Like we're not mad at each other about it. It's it's just stuff that we we tease each other about. But uh, that's funny because you and Kaylin are both budget nerds. Christy yes. is not a budget nerd. Like she just she does not care right. how I manage the money. You would just set it up. Like this is the problem. Cause like yeah. Kaylin doesn't want to reconcile the account, but she also doesn't want to get rid of it because um why? Uh I don't know. Because <laughs> changing the budget is scary. I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like this whole discussion is undermining our uh our advocacy of cash accounts so, okay, so like we l- should let's stop because get into because the- if i keep going it's going to become anyways <laughs> we'll we'll solve the the not the relational problem the stupid housekeeping problem um in a minute but let's talk about how how great cash accounts are how they solve all your problems and all your wildest dreams come true well for me <laughs> i've turned myself into the bank of ernie yes i don't have to go to the bank anymore and this is i mean really this might apply, not apply to everyone, but we get inflows of cash on a regular basis. So mm-hmm. my younger two boys walk the neighbor dog and they get $40 every single Friday. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so okay. what I was always doing in the past is every Friday or you know every other Friday, go to the ATM, 
deposit that Ugh. cash Gross. and then, yeah. you know, go through the transactions and the signing and YNAB and stuff like that. And I just, I hated that. And then there were the times where, oh, we need cash for something. Well, we don't have any cash around. So let's go to the ATM to withdraw something. Mm-hmm. So then I was like, let's just get in a cash account, hold the cash. And then I like the yeah. idea of, oh, this is like, you know, this is just another option of how we can spend our money. And I like having options. So I'm like, hey, this works yes. really well. And then I realized very quickly, I don't have to ever go to the bank because that money comes in. I just keep it with me. And then when I need it, I just go to my own little bank, my safe, and pull out what I need to spend. You're like, look at me. Look at me. I'm the banker now. (laughs) Right? And then every Friday, I get to lay out all my cash on the the dresser uh, and count it out and reconcile the account. That's the other thing is you get to count the cash, which is so fun. It's so fun. (laughs) Cash feels amazing. I mean, I know my boys think like dad is... He's lost it, right? He lost it a long time ago, and this is just affirming that. Because they see me every single week counting out the cash. And like, what you just did this. Why are you doing this again? But I'm reconciling. I love that. Yeah. Um, Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, I I think you've kind of helped me figure it out. Because when I went into this episode, I'm like, why do I like cash accounts so much? It just feels right. Uh, I think what it is, is it's a similar thing where we hate hate the matchy-matchy game, where it's like, oh, this account has to match this c- category the balance on the the account needs to match the balance on the category because they're you know you're like budgeting with accounts right that's what yep. we call it a lot where you're like you're tracking you're using accounts bank accounts to track the purpose of your dollars instead of wine and then you have to make it work in wine it's like oh it's just a big thing it, this just takes out all of the 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 busy work of like, okay, well, I don't really want to have this cash, but I want it to be in YNAB. So I'm going to deposit it at the bank. And uh, it's none of that. It's just, you get it, you put it where it belongs, which is in a cash account. And then the decision of whether you want to deposit cash or withdraw cash is completely irrelevant to your categories. Like I go and withdraw cash and it doesn't change the categories in my plan at all. And that's just, it, it just feels right because it's just a, I don't know, just more freeing. Like, like the, I, I, I'm a firm believer that like the method of payment shouldn't affect your accounting like at all. You know, not in at least not in the sense of like it shouldn't affect like the way you spend. Does yep. that make sense? Yep, absolutely. So, and that's why we do credit cards the way we do. You know, where it's like you're using that credit card really like it's a debit card. It always has cash to back it up, right? And it's just a lot more peaceful way to live. It's kind of the same way with cash. Like, I don't want to have this thing where I'm like, I'm, I'm doing this this errand of, of putting it in the bank or taking it out of the bank just for the sake of YNAB working. I, I don't know. It, it's just better. I, just try it, please. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just better. It's just And better. honestly, not only is it better, but it for me, it is seriously mind-blowing. This idea yeah. of, I mean, I, I still do this where I look at all my category balances and I'm like, okay, this represents real money. And then I'm like, yeah. I can spend this money any way I want. Debit yes, card, exactly. credit card, cat, it, it doesn't matter. And it, so it becomes really simple when it comes to spending my money because mm-hmm. I, it all, the only thing I'm thinking about is yes or no, do I have the money or do I not? And if I don't have the money, well, are there any trade-offs I want to make, right? So I don't know. It's just, it's a linear decision-making process. It's simple. I don't know. It's so elegant. I love it. It's elegant. Exactly. It's just, it's just great. And I I think it's one of those things where you, you, it's, it's adding something like this is an additive process. You're adding a new account in white app. So you're, you're automatically thinking, okay, this is going to complicate things. Right. Right. But That's it's what I not because it actually makes things simpler because you don't have to go through this process of like, uh, here's what it is. It makes the m- money is fungible. It's supposed to be fungible. And the, the digital money in your bank with the, it's a number on a screen should be just as valuable as the cash in your hand. And it shouldn't, you shouldn't have this weird, like, well, I have cash, but I don't really want I don't want the cash in this form. I want it in this form. If you have a cash account, like it stops, that stops mattering, you yeah. know? Um, yeah. It's just, it, it's just like totally seamless. And the know? only additional time is the 10 seconds it takes to enter that transaction yourself. 
And I'm always mm-hmm. doing mine on the mobile phone as soon as it happens, right? Drop my kid off at the high school for a basketball game. Okay, there's $4. Categorize it to family fun. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, I guess you you got to reconcile. You don't have to, but it's recommended that you reconcile just to make sure oh, you've yeah. accounted for everything. Oh, yeah. And well, and reconciling is fun because you get to count cash and counting cash is fun. Which, so yep. I have like a, a literal spreadsheet called house cash cashier. <laughs> it's like a little little Google sheet. And uh, I it just has like, here's the ones and here's the fives. And here's, so I count like, okay, I got 20 ones. I got 13 fives and I got five tens and three twenties. And it just does the calculation for me, which is nice. I like doing it that way. Uh, I used to have like in my little house cash thing, I used to have like nickels and quarters and dimes. No pennies because forget pennies. Pennies are terrible. Uh, but I got rid of that because like, I don't that's the thing when it comes to change i don't track change do no you do me, that? me either just round up no. the whole dollar round up to the whole dollar if you have change it goes in the car and floats around in the car or you take it and i put it in a in a jar uh which one day i will roll up and bring to the bank when, oh, <laughs> you know. okay can we go on a tangent quick sure, sure. of course we're, we're budget nerds mm-hmm. of course change yeah. jars yes before we had a cash account very little cash and mm-hmm. so it basically eliminated the need for a change jar. And I I realized I missed those. Like there is something so amazing about accumulating coins over time and then bringing that bucket or that, <laughs> you know, the, the brown paper bag yeah, to the bank. To the coin star to the bank or whatever. Yes, yeah. that is I, I really, really fun. That. And now well, we can do that again because we're using more cash. We have more change. Yeah. So you don't have a perfect representation of the spending because you know, you're rounding up every every transaction, but it's like it's just not worth it. Like and and I, I, I have all these feelings about about US currency and like a change <laughs> should go away. Like I think here hey, we have an talk- ep- another Ben rant. <laughs> <laughs> well you guys if you're on the internet, people talk about this. This is the thing, like pennies should not exist. Like that shouldn't be a thing. If you're paying in cash, it could it should round up to the nearest five cents. I'm sorry, pennies shouldn't exist. Now there are exceptions because there are a lot of countries. Here, here's here's the only argument I can make for pennies. Okay, there are a lot of countries that use U.S. dollars either like informally or like formally. That's like their national currency. And like pennies, and and there like the whole economy is smaller, so like like pennies might be more valuable, right? So maybe there might be a case for pennies for that, but. In the U.S., like, like you just don't. Even, I, I just like throw pennies in the trash. Like, like you, know, <laughs> you want pennies? Like, it's useless. It's, it's just, you can't buy anything with a penny, and it's pointless. Like, it's so dumb. It doesn't yeah. shouldn't exist. And then I think I don't think we should have nickels. I don't think we should have dimes. I think quarters are fine. Quarters can stay. We should round. If you're paying in cash, <laughs> round it to the nearest quarter and call it even. That's what we should do. Okay. No more. I- maybe even bring back the. Actually, I have one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got one of these little suckers, but it's a collector's item, you know, little little Jefferson here. Oh, nice. Yeah, not Jefferson, uh, Kennedy. A little Kennedy here. <laughs> I was thinking of, yeah, uh, anyways. Yeah, a uh, little Kennedy here. Um, half dollar. We should just go to half dollars, maybe. And then maybe we should just go to dollars. I don't know. We got rid of the half penny in like 1724 or something. And not that early. It was like 18 something. Um, we got rid of half pennies because they were useless. And half pennies then are worth more than like a nickel now. So, anyways, I don't. Well, I, I hope this generates some discussion in the comments because I'm sorry, I just I don't have any input. I have no opinion on this matter. Get rid of change, <laughs> no more change. And like it, I mean, not, we can quarters can stay, but especially pennies. Like, can we just get rid of pennies now already, please? Thank you. Because right, small listen, steps. That's the problem with the. <laughs> Because everybody does this, they have a they either their their change floats around in their car or around the house and the couch cushions, or they put it in a um, in a cash jar, and that that means that 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 currency is failing at what it's supposed to do, which is be currency like current <laughs> current around like currency currency around, which means okay, like move that- around. Right? That makes sense. All you're doing to me. is like, yeah. I'm... So what? All that's happening is like you're bringing it to the to your house, and then you're bringing it to the bank, and it's like <laughs> there's no currency happening because it's useless. Anyways, all right. I, right I'm tracking with you. Yeah, yeah. 
I probably won't think about this anymore in my life, but appreciate it. <laughs> There's some people that, that are just as passionate about this, and you'll be, you'll be in the comments. But anyways, bottom line, for wine, for wine app services, if you're using a cash account, I highly recommend just rounding, to the, rounding up to the nearest dollar for all your transactions. Yes. And um, just put the change in a... Put, like, give the changes a tip. Like I'll do that a lot. Like if I'm if they give me back change, I'm like, and I'm at a restaurant. Like yep. <laughs> here's that change back. I don't want that. <laughs> and here's a few more dollars. You know. So, yeah. Oh, gosh, I, I need a break. Seriously, <laughs> we're both sweating here. Uh, yeah, I, I got a, got a little passion about change, but uh, <laughs> didn't mean to get too ranty. But <laughs> but you, but also you know the, the 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 nerds love it. So yeah, you gotta you gotta turn on the rant a little bit. Here's another reason I have ended up loving my cash account. I, I don't know if you've noticed this in your area, Ben, but it seems like there are more and more places, especially restaurants mm. or, around where I live, where they're giving you a discount for using cash, three yep. to 5%. Like they're just sick of paying that service fee with those credit card vendors. And the, I mean, I can just think of three restaurants in the past three months that we've eaten at well, generally it's takeout, but they've given us a cash discount. Yeah. And so I'm like, I, I want to carry more cash now because I want to take advantage of those discounts. Right. It's good. I, I, I kind of think that's that's short-sighted though, that that businesses do that. Um, although I haven't run these businesses, so I don't know. I'm sure they actually know what they're talking about. But like it it it's it's not a it's not an apples to apples like, oh, if I take a credit card, I have to pay three percent to visa or whatever right that's true but if you take cash you have to deal with that cash like you might need to like pay an armored vehicle to come and pick up cash and and, and you have to like worry about making change and um you know and, and, and like it takes longer so you have like more man hours dealing with cash like i think that you actually might spend more than three percent dealing with all the cash you know what i mean so you're saying me the consumer is paying more because they have all those other back-end fees associated with cash. yeah yeah okay. or but but the but, but i think the the i think the um the business is dealing is paying more although they might have i guess there's an argument where like oh they have to pay for it anyway so like if they have to if they have to deal with cash anyway and all the expense of dealing with cash anyway then it'd be nice for them to have more people just use cash because then they don't have the extra fee on top of it. But whatever the case, it gives me a sense of savings. Sure. And that's what I'm yeah. going for. Yeah. And it's also kind of nice when it's just like, I don't know, some, especially when it's like a small business and you're just kind of like, when you pay in cash, I feel like you're winking at them and being like, <laughs> being like, Hey, I'm helping you out here. Like we don't have to, yeah, yeah. like, 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 like screw those credit card companies. Like they don't have to be involved. This is you and me, <laughs> you and me and the U S government. That's all. That's all that's involved here. <laughs> you, you know, please report this to the IRS. <laughs> yeah. That's the other thing that <laughs> I have a, what my favorite restaurant, well, not me, not my favorite, but one of my most favorite restaurants in town that I go to way too often. And it's just like a burger and beer sp spot. Um, they only take cash. They do not let you use a card. And I, and they also have a an ATM like there in the in the restaurant okay. for all the people that forget to bring cash. And I part of it is like I think they're just real old school. Like they've literally been yeah. around since like like. 1892 like i'm not joking and <laughs> i think the the owner is just like i don't want to do that but i'm also kind of like you guys uh you guys legit are you guys uh <laughs> you guys reporting all this <laughs> is this all really happening uh <laughs> you know because they also have like never offered me a receipt ever <laughs> so i'm kind of <laughs> like you writing this down <laughs> i don't know i'm not sure you are but, uh, I yeah, maybe there's that going on in the background. I think it adds to the charm. We had a restaurant yeah. around here the, the same way. They always, they only accepted cash or check. And it was just, I don't know, it was kind of fun that you knew that and you were a part of that. And, you know, there were times mm -hmm. you were in the restaurant and people had to go away because they, they didn't know the policy. It, and they it only kind had of adds cards. to like the community of the restaurant. Like if it you know, does. you know, and you know to bring cash. You know but they, mean? they recently switched to accepting cards now. And I'm like, no, uh, sold out, out, man. <laughs> oh, come <laughs> on. We got all corporate-y. <laughs> <laughs> or like I complained for years and years. And then I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And they yeah. change. Yeah, but, because if I, well, that's the thing is, if I didn't have a cash account, that would annoy me because I'd be like, oh man, like, because I would never have 
I, I, I wouldn't be as free to have cash with me, so I probably wouldn't wouldn't have it, you know. So, um, but yeah, now that I have a cash account, I just feel like, oh, it's no big deal. And it, it's nice to have some money in your wallet, especially like a few small bills. Like yep. if I owe a friend for dinner, I can pay him in cash instead of having to like do cash app or Venmo or some nonsense like that. It's just like, again, it's just like, it's me and you, man. You like, you, it's, it's a, it's just, it's just a raw transaction between friends. There's no like third or fourth party involved. It's just simpler. Um, I don't know. Maybe this is just like you and I are old and we're, uh, well, I we're definitely, am. I mean, you're, you're 10 years younger than me. So <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel like I got an old spirit about this. So, <laughs> I don't know, but I, I just really like the cash accounts. It's it's just a simpler way to live, and I'm not sure um, I can really convey it without trying it. Just just give it a try. Try it. I mean, yeah. honestly, it it has made YNAB easier for me. Yes, exactly. That's the bottom line. It's make it e- made it easier because you don't have to worry about the do I deposit this, do I not? It's like, nah, just keep it or not, whatever, you know. And also, I think in addition to that, I think it's nice to have some cash in the house, yeah, safe or a lockbox. Um, options. Be, yeah, options, you know. Uh, and also, you know, it's just good to have some cash. I don't know why, just in case something happens and you don't know what's going to happen. Something, <laughs> you know, like, who knows? But uh, it's it's not so much for that. It's just the convenience for, for me. So, yeah. Well, should we uh, quickly resolve my conflict with my wife about this? Um, Let's take a stab at it. I don't know if we're going to get anywhere, but we can at least communicate. <laughs> she, she's over there shaking her head. <laughs> Kevin, you have to come on the show now because you're basically on the show right now. <laughs> and she says she expects compensation straight into her cash account if <laughs> she's on the show. So. <laughs> um yeah let's talk about that uh so okay again we got ben's wallet katie wallet house cash three cash accounts which se- which does seem like i do a lot of accounts that, it's kind of that's it's a least, lot it's a little complicated so we could do your option where you have one a cash account yep um i don't mind that but then you're all every week you have to track down caitlin how much cash <sighs> do you have Send her those annoying text messages. Yuck. Yeah, I don't know. How I like that. But is, see, is I don't it have to do that because Christy, Christy doesn't carry cash. Oh, she doesn't carry cash. Right. Okay. She only uses it when she needs it. But if there is a time where, like, I, I when I reconcile, I'm like, oh, we're off twenty bucks. Then mm-hmm. I start with Christy. Hey, did you spend any cash this this week? And it wasn't accounted for. Yeah. One thing that's annoying is like you have to track the transfers with me. Um, so like, if Caitlin takes cash out of my wallet because she needs something real quick. We have to do a transfer, and then then between the wallet accounts, you ah. know, uh, and that's annoying. That's like seems kind of silly. Like we could have just one wallet account. Uh, e- e- either way, it, if I combine any of these, I'm gonna end up having to track Caitlin down and be like. So I feel like it actually might end up ha- causing more conflict between us. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yep, she, I she did. said yes to because right now the conflict is oh Caitlin hasn't reconciled her cash account and. 13 months and <laughs> it's not true now <laughs> it, it's her account yes. so why do you care whether or not she reconciles oh okay well okay that's that's a really good point so the did i say this before the way we do it is if you do have to reconcile and there's an adjustment because you weren't keeping track you yep. take it out of your personal spending so you're assuming uh, there is an adjustment that needs to be made and you want that yes. trued up right now oh exactly because okay. there's the, the 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 budget is off the categories are off right because there's ten dollars that she hasn't accounted for or maybe more like maybe there's like it could go either way like there might be more money that can be in our categories that uh isn't there because she didn't like track an inflow or something so but it uh, i know this is a ben problem dang it <laughs> I mean, this is a budget nerd problem, right? We well, want to be able yeah. to look at YNAB and like, okay, every account is reconciled. Every dollar is accounted for and properly assigned. We're talking about like no more than 20 bucks. Okay. So like if the if the categories are off by 20 bucks out of like the thousands we have in there, 
it's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's not that big a deal. Right. But it's also, still... but also is a big deal. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I think we should probably keep it how it is. I should be a little more chill about it, which I have been. Okay. Let me be clear. I've been pretty chill about it. Okay. It's only like <laughs> the past like two weeks I've been asking, please reconcile the account. Like it's been since July. Please reconcile. It. So th- there have been. <laughs> I've been, I've been pretty chill about it. So I can be more chill. Okay, Caitlin, I'll be more chill if you can be more reconciling. And then we'll reconcile. <laughs> We're not unreconciled. We're not unreconciled. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> See, hey, if I, the, I'm like, there's a conflict. And Galen's like, there's no conflict. I don't. <laughs> if this is the only conflict you're dealing with, you guys are doing really well. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> well, that were true. But <laughs> no, everything's fine. No, th- this is actually a common in a relationship where I'm like, there's there's a problem between us. And Galen's like, there's no problem. And I'm like, but there's a problem we need to talk about right now. And she's like, there's not actually a problem at all. This is common, but. <laughs> Ah, uh, <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep my. Is I think it's it's a question of like the dynamic between your relationship because Christy's not a budget nerd really. Like she's not no. like she doesn't care, and also she's not tracking cash or keeping cash so much. So yeah, it's not a big deal for you to have one cash account. I like my three separate ones. Uh, I do feel like it's a little bit overkill because I have like one <laughs> spending account and one savings account and then three cash accounts. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a little silly. But uh, um, I do think it makes it simpler and I like it. So I think I'll just, a- as usual, Ben decides not to take any changes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been down this road before. <laughs> we have. Yeah. Um, so for um, those of you at home, try a cash account. Start with shot. one. Just Just go one. Don't go three or two. Maybe uh, that just Maybe makes it a little bit more complicated, but start with one, <laughs> test it out, see what you think. Yeah. And if you're doing a cash category and it's working for you, that's fine, I guess. But give it a, maybe give it a try for like, because you've got nothing to lose. Like, give it a try for like a week or a month and see how, what you think. Cause I think you might find you like it. Um, but most of you guys are probably like, no, cash category is fine. And that's, that's okay. We can still be <laughs> friends. <laughs> All right, friends, before we let you go, as always, let's do a couple YNAB wins. Let's do it. All All right, I have a YNAB win from Victor, who wrote in on the episode about YNAB memos, transaction memos. That was like eight months ago, so thanks for that. Uh, Wrote a comment on there that said, YNAB win. Today was my second paycheck of June, and I didn't need that paycheck until July which got fully funded before all the money was assigned, so I budgeted the rest to August. I am now a month and a half ahead and will be two months ahead by the end of June. Love that. That's so great, Victor. I, I like getting two months ahead. I've, I've started doing that in the past year. Um, yeah, it feels good. I feel like much more than that. It starts to get a little wonky, but like, I, I it adds... I feel like I'm like really, really varied a lot a month ahead. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it feels good. And by now, you're probably like 10 months ahead because that was <laughs> yeah. eight months ago. So you just got a month ahead every month. Is that how that works? Probably not. But <laughs> Fantastic win, Victor. Fantastic My win comes from Kathleen. This was on the emergency fund versus month ahead video. Again, probably 12 years ago. Why not win? I love this episode and the one where you each shared your categories. I was inspired to review my financial life surprises that came up over the last two years and created a category for appliance repair slash replacement based on us having... <laughs> I'm thinking of your refrigerator, Ben. That was, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> that was like right at the peak of that drama. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> All right, created a category for appliance repair slash replacement based on us having to replace our kitchen garburator out of the blue light. What is a garburator? That is like like garbage disposal. disposal. Oh, okay. Garburator. Garburator, yeah. Is that a brand name? I never heard that. I don't know. I really like, I want, I'm I'm gonna, I'm never gonna refer to it as as a (laughs) disposal. I'm gonna refer to it as a garburator from now on. That's a fun (laughs) name. I'll give you that. (laughs) Anyway, sorry. And lo and behold, our food processor broke and I needed a new one. And I had money in my category. Nice. Honestly, a huge, huge win in my book. 
Thank you both for helping me get a handle on my budget. You are awesome. Oh, well, thank you, Kathleen. Appreciate that. And congratulations. That is fantastic. Those things going wrong, the mm-hmm. life surprises, and being able to have money to pay for them, it is an incredible feeling. So glad you yeah. got to experience that and are continuing to, I'm assuming. I love that. I still have an appliance category that I do not fund ever. <laughs> so, so. Of course not, because why would you learn from past experiences? <laughs> Oh, I, that, we need to have a whole episode on like, why is it so hard for me to change my <laughs> targets? That's an intervention, Ben. I mean, I think it's, I think I know why. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> well, we'll, well, we'll, we'll get it. into that <laughs> and so much more in the next episode. Until then, friends, happy wine having. Happy wine having.